Hi, welcome to the Song Lounge with Chris Hardy. That's our chicken house. Why looky there? It's a chicken. Yes, I am talking to my camera. Welcome to episode five of the Song Lounge. I'm Chris Hardy. This is my chicken house. Not my chicken house, it's my wife's chicken house. It's the chicken's chicken house. On today's episode, which is occurring out in nature once again, I'm gonna feature the song, Just To Be Alive Is Enough, and I'll explain why I wrote it. Because inquiring minds want to know. I believe I wrote this in 2009. My wife and I used to have a duo called Three Feet Up. She played drums, I played guitar. Six strings, not just four. So the core of this song started around 2003 when my wife got really sick. Suddenly all concerns for material things just faded away. We just wanted her to live. She did have life-saving surgery, so she was that close to death. And when you get that close to death, apparently you value your life even more. So that kind of stuck in my brain for a few years and I processed it. Apparently that's how long it takes for me to get the idea on some things. Hmm. So around that time, 2003, I was studying Buddhism. One of the popular phrases I heard from time to time in Buddhism through my studies was the phrase, just to be alive is enough. You know, initially I, I may not have understood it, but after, after a few years it finally hit me when you're standing there facing the Grim Reaper, you don't care what kind of car you drive. You don't care if you have fancy stuff. You don't care about the latest iPhone. Or you just don't care about the stuff. The stuff is unimportant. Except for the video camera. That's pretty important right now. So I wrote this out of the inspiration from my wife getting sick and, you know, wanting to cling to life because life is really all you need. And I should point out that my mother-in-law, Marilyn, asked me to feature this song. Uh, this is her favorite song that I do. So let's see, is that enough backstory? Am I missing anything? Jack was curious as to what I was doing out here. That you don't really need anything in this life but your life and your chicken house. So I present to you, just to be alive is enough. Yeah! Don't try this at home, kids. It's very dangerous. Uh, I wonder if I should edit. No, I'll, st I'll, I'll take the whole thing over again. Because uh, editing uh, is... Well, it's kind of stupid. Because there's people that do nothing but editing. And editing is kind of taking the easy way out. But I like to take the hard way out by not editing at all. Ha 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 ha. Let's try a third time. Third time is the what? Third time is the what? Third time is the what? Got it. How very charming. You may be searching, searching for direction. A certain road you take, that bridge is a You're not that small 
is enough Just to be alive is enough Just to be alive is enough Just to be alive is enough <laughs> See, you don't need a perfect take of the song, you just need to be alive. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. So there you have it. Just to be alive is enough. Now you're part Buddhist. All right, maybe not. Very simple. Very, very simple. Hmm. Also, if you'd like to hear the full version of that song with all the instruments, wow, it'll blow your mind. Uh, click the link below if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on some other platform, go to YouTube! Subscribe! It's fun. You'll never miss an episode of The Song Lounge. Anyway, I am Chris Hardy. This is The Song Lounge. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Tell all your friends. And we'll all be happy, right? Even though just to be alive is enough. Kind of puts a damper on that self-promotion thing, doesn't it? Anyway, see you next time. Have a fine week.